Tunis. And I am just joining Mr. Ergurden. 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 All right, we got another Ur Palutena. The, the former Gurden Gecko. Yeah, the Gurden Gecko. <laughs> We got another Palutena in Gen, um, and we got Jackal rocking Wolf. New Jersey versus uh, NY. Quite literally, New Jersey versus NY, especially considering the recent circumstances. Remember at the beginning, you know, it was all Krom, you know. Now yeah. we got Wolves. Yeah. We got Wolves on deck. Wolf pack out here. With the Wolf pack out here. <laughs> Absolutely. Going up against Gen, one of New York's finest, to say the very least. You know, a consistent Xeno winner in itself. Yeah. But I, yeah, this guy needs no introduction. Let's just get into the match. Yeah. Well, Jackal, uh, Sonic Mania Smash 4, very, very uh, successful with that. Yeah, absolutely. But now these uh, have switched over to Wolf, a character who's a character who, like, I feel is very, like, well-rounded. It's like a sort of, it's like an all-rounder, but like if all the stats were like super buffed up. Yeah. Sort of like how Mario wasn't four. Yeah. Know, you know, in a little bit in a sense, but like. But a little bit more extreme, I'd say. Yeah, definitely. Actually, yeah, a little bit more of an extreme. But Wolf is a very fundamental heavy character, you know. He's not like a masher masher. You can't really just like go in and press buttons with him. There's like some buttons that are super safe, like back air buttons, you know, like F smash buttons, that kind of stuff. But the rest of it, some of it is actually pretty calculated, to say the least. Palutena, on the other hand, Palomains only want one thing, and it's pretty disgusting. It's a neutral air. I, I can definitely say I feel disgusting whenever I land that move. Yeah. So you're correct. I feel disgusting whenever I pick Palo on the character selection screen, dude. Right, anyway, go that far. <laughs> I, I'd go that far. And here we go, all aboard the airplane. Choo choo! That that's a train. Oh, I'm a dumb one. All right. Anyway. All right. Oh, oh, okay, Ooh, never mind. Making his way back with the strong hit of the side yeah, beat right there. Sometimes it will just gotta let it rip that side beat. Absolutely. But I mean, it does put you in a free fall. So you know, I mean, that's one of the tricky things about Wolf, and is arguably like the worst thing about the character is that his recovery is kind of it's kind of sus because unlike Fox and Falco side B, you know, to compare him to the other space animals, uh, Wolf side B does still put you in a free fall, and Fox and Falco's does not. So yeah, Wolf has to like make sure he's spaced properly by the ledge to be able to do that. Make sure he's not too low. Make sure they know the angle properly. And Jackal definitely knows that with his character so far. I mean, he picked up Wolf. Relatively recently, it's been about a month or like a couple of weeks, something like that, since he's like been working Wolf into his repertoire along with Pichu, who was, yeah. you know, his, uh, has been his main for quite some time. But Jackal, being the top player that he is, knows all about, like, he's, yeah. uh, knows all about this game, knows how to apply the good traits of this character already, is that dash attack actually is going to kill Jen, put him down to his last stock. Yeah, we're, yeah, it wasn't dead even game until that dash attack. We're gonna see Jacko get a nice combo, nice 32. Wolf, I would say Wolf and like at zero doesn't have the same kind of combo game that Palutena does. But obviously, he doesn't have that kind of hair. Mm, actually, using the, uh, the shine to get his way down, the move actually is a reflector. That's what a shine yeah. does. The back throw. Gonna be able to take that stock right there, evening this game out yet again. But Jackal is continuing his onslaught, continuing to put on that damage, and continuing to get that lead. About four minutes on the clock. We'll see what Jen is going to be able to do here. But if there's any character, in my opinion, that can actually like propose Ooh. comebacks, let's see if Jackal held it just a little bit longer. That would have been the game for him. Yeah, definitely a big lead for Jackal right here. But you cannot count Jen out because Jen plays a character like Palutena, and Palutena is just she's such her comeback factor is huge, in my opinion. Not just yeah. not because of her tools, but because. Just because of neutral air, off of a grab right. or just off of anything. I'm serious. If you like able to land a raw neutral air, that's 50 damage from zero, like minimum, if you do the combo completely properly. And that's already a lot yeah. of damage to be able and to put that back. But it's not going to matter. He's going to be able to get that yeah. back. And if you do it like ghetto. um like Gon does, where he ends it with up air, then you have to land versus there too. And I usually see him get like a couple more hits in before you actually hit the ground. So you're sitting at like 70 percent almost off of like. A grab or a nair at zero. Exactly. It's crazy. Yeah, the character's comeback factor is ridiculous. You can never sleep on Palutena, especially one as proficient as Jen, because that nair plane just comes in and just travels on along the tracks, you know, with the whole carpool. What? And it Planes, just, it tracks, just does carpool. Thing, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, the, the thing that, you know, trains and carpools do and planes. Game two. Yeah, game two. Moving on. Game two. Oh, Moving we're on. seeing the switch to Fox. Ooh. Okay. Now, my man here has been working on his Fox for quite some time. You know, he just thinks Fox is a very... Uh, last time I checked, I think he thinks Fox is a really good character. I never actually asked him his uh, actual opinion, but I remember he's been trying to pick up this character for quite some time. One, I think, an encore or two with him. Yeah. Just like Solo Fox, which is already impressive enough in its own right, but Fox is just quite the character for the game. Uh, quite the character in this game. The, uh, the uh, other contender, along with Wolf, for the best space animal in the game. You know, some people say it's Fox, some people say it's Wolf. No one says it's Falco, and then Falco may just cry. Yeah, that definitely hurts my heart. He's so much fun in this game. Yeah, he's definitely a fun character, but, you know, not as proficient as these two, obviously. I mean, 
Fox, you know, a little bit of a hollow shell of what he used to be, you know. I mean, you can't shield the uh, illusion now, and it does no longer what? go through shields. Yeah, Whoa, you can't mess crazy. around. No, you can't mess around with that move off stage. I'm not at all surprised there, Gordon. Not at all surprised. You go off stage and you mess around with that move, it sends you at such a jank and strong angle completely to the side so quickly, even if he's facing the wrong way. I mean, Wolf Mains are going to be doing that if you overextend off the level. They're going to turn their up B in the other direction to make sure you get launched towards the blast zone. You, you don't want to overextend against Wolf off stage. It's, it's just not worth it. He has a spike in his side B. The up B will send you in a crazy direction with a ton of knockback. I like that down smash coming out from Gem, knowing that the side B from Wolf uh, usually doesn't let snap. Like, yeah, the spacing is either really hard or just doesn't exist. Ooh, and that's Ooh. a mix. That's a New York mix if I ever done did see one. All right. <laughs> this is the full backwards empty hop, full hop into the up smash. No up airs here. No up airs here. I want you to think I'm going to up air. Oh, silly jackal. Spacies are for New Yorkers. <laughs> Spacey's are for New Yorkers. Yeah. Oh, that down smash. The hitbox below it is so big. It's so good for catching, like, recoveries to ledge like that. Yeah, absolutely. And it's really strong, too. Perfect recipe for this asset about a ledge. And here you have Jen. You see him whipping out all these neutral layers, trying to get something started. Fox in, in himself has a nair play. I'm noticing a trend with, uh, with Jen's characters. Yeah. <laughs> they all have nairs that just you do them. They just combo into themselves. You can't blame the young lad for doing that, but anyway. Hey, man, if it works, it works. It yeah, work. Whatever works, works, whatever man. Whatever pays the bills. Gotta keep the lights on somewhere. Mm -hmm. the Jackal trying to keep the lights on in his house. It's already looking pretty bright right now. Up a full stock over Jen. Jen needs to be able to take this stock now and get a good little schmix combo moving if he wants any chance of being able to bring this game back. You see him doing the falling neutral airs right here, trying to convert that into an up smash as any Fox player is going to fish for in their heyday. But Jackal Ooh, nice just not giving it to him. He's shielding at just the right time to make sure. He's like shielding in all the right situations to make sure like, okay, like I'm going to shield, you know, avoid the neutral air here. But then he drops his shield what? whenever he thinks oh. that Jen is going to fall down and just empty hop grab. That was crazy. You know? Wolves sometimes like to do upbeat on stage like that as a mix-up. And if you're not ready for it, it can kill you. Absolutely. But Jen fell out and was able to tech it. Yeah, it's sort of like PK Thunder if you would. Like it just doesn't travel too much of a distance, but like it kills crazy early. It's such a strong attack. And back throw? No, he's just the not enough percent yet, according to him. He's going to forward throw instead just to get that damage. Potentially mix up the DI. Ooh, falling there, just barely not doing it. And now he has Jen off stage, but down air? Mm, no, he tried to hit him with the get up attack instead, but the, just he's going to get his stage presence back in order and just walk away to the spot he has to go to. Space the F tilt properly and get that game. That's game two, going to uh, Jackal up 2 0 over GM. Hmm. Um, but I think he did better with Palutena, so I'm going to suspect he's going to go back. Oh, no, he's sticking with Fox. Sticking with the tried and true. I mean, not the tried and true, but with his counter, you know what I mean. Yeah, I, I got it. But, oh, you know what I'm talking about. PS2, once again. Africa's very own Jackal. Blessing the reins all over House of 3000. <laughs> Devin wants so bad to not laugh at that, and he's not. He's trying his best, but... <laughs> <laughs> All right, Devin giving us the, the warm hey New man, Yorker don't be, welcome. Don't be salty, man. Toto's dope. Anyway. All right, Jen actually with a little bit of a lead here in percent. Now, right now, we're going to see... Ooh, that's a good way. Dash attack into the forward air. A classic combo right there. And getting the dash attack off of the get-up as well to try and keep him off stage. Oh, I, I, I like how he read the double jump back on the stage. Now put him at disadvantage, and he kills him for it. Ooh. That's why you got to, sometimes, especially with characters like Fox and, well, maybe less Wolf and more Fox, like, you got to call you gotta call people out. Like, you have the tools to be fast and be wherever you want to be, so you got to call people out. Absolutely. Just another one of the amazing things that Fox as a character has under his repertoire. Just such a quintessential Smash Brothers character, if yeah. you would. You know, he just has everything like a platform fighter character really needs. It all just matters on if the player is going to be able to take advantage of the right things in the right situation, and that's one of the key differences of a good Fox player versus a bad one. Ooh, that, even though he was able to air dodge in there, like, it almost uh, frame trapped him. I mean, he did. He landed and still got hit by it. Oh. Good grab to catch the approach right there. That's not something you see very many low level players do. Trying to catch oh, him with the goodness. up smash. He's going to do one of his own, barely not killing. Dash tag, wake up. 
I thought it was going to down smash right there, but I like that. I think he realized that Jen was probably going to expect a down smash there, so he instead decided to wait and bait uh, and bait a neutral get up off of his own timing because I think he was trying to bait him into thinking he was going to down smash and instead elected to space a forward uh, a forward tilt properly, knowing that he conditioned him to do that specific option. I actually really like that uh, F tilt coming out from uh, coming yeah. out from Jacko right there. It was, like, it was definitely like a lot, like one of our safer kill options at the moment. Yeah, just so many other wolf players would have just down smash there yeah. and be like, oh, I hope this hits. Yeah. And, you know, just no. Like, Jackal a little too good for that at this stage of the game. He thinks ahead of that. Yeah, just oh, shooting the gun just yeah. one too many times. Yeah. Jackal actually is shaking his head on that one. He knows he messed up. Yeah, the second laser he shot was definitely like uh, not beneficial, but he, got, he died for it. Looking for the back air. Wants to close out this stock right now. Jackal does if he wants to even this game out. And there's the up smash. Wake up! Not going to be able to kill, actually. Good DI coming out from Jin. Either that or the move just wasn't going to kill. But that second one is definitely going to do it. 140%. No way you are living that. The wolf hunts the fox, my friend. <laughs> yeah, we got a basically dead even game after this combo. Yep. Yeah. Jackal already with the lead. Able to force his advantage onto the stock with that quick little three piece right there. But now we have Mario combos. Yeah, yeah, up till. Or up Smash till. 4 Mario combos. He doesn't do that as often as he used to. But, you know, Fox never stopped. Ooh. I thought that was going to be a raw bear right there, but instead he tried to hit him with the up air. Potentially fall down, get an up smash, you know, mix him for it. They do that over in New York. Yeah, that's, from what I hear, they definitely schmix people. They de from, from what I heard last about New York, they definitely schmix people, and Jen is definitely trying to do that so he can close out this stock and stay in the winner's bracket against Jackal. I like, Unless like Jackal you mentioned earlier, about that. Like, any wolf player probably would have charged down smash to read the side B. But Jackal waited to see what Jen would do, and Jen went for the high side B, so he was able to react and punish to that. Not just that, I think he baited him to do it as yeah. well, you know, because I think he knows that, like, you know, wolves love to down smash there. Oh, Ooh, and the raw one! Call out! You just called him out. Yeah. I was wrong. You're going to be right here exactly when I want you yeah, to. You're gonna and press this the is going to put me into winner's finals against the great Gonzalez. Yeah. Here we go. Jackal's like, you want to press a button right here. Yeah. Wow. He tried to press a button. Yeah. You know, he's just like, you know, you like the green button. I think you're going to press it right here. Let's oh, take a look at this I think again. He might have rolled. No, he did a new, he did a neutral getup, and then he just went in. He held shield oh, and then he just rolled. dropped him. See, look, he rolled behind him after the. Oh, I thought you meant rolled from ledge. Yeah. Look at that. Wow. Yeah. That move's crazy. Yeah, it just it stays out for such a long time. Caught him during those uh, brief moments without the iframes. Oh, when you said rolled, I thought you meant rolled from ledge. Oh that, no, that's no, no. why I got confused. I apologize. But wow, that was what, such a hard call out coming out from uh, coming yeah. out from Jackal right there. And it was risky too, because if that didn't work, that was an up smash from Jen. Yeah, I just, yeah. Earlier in the set, Jen was able to punish Wolf up smash with an up smash of his own. Mayhaps the young lad Jude thought I'm up two games. It's worth the risk.